Number 15. A man is keeping an eye on his two daughters when he notices a third child watching them from the doorway. The man quickly goes to check on his kids and finds them happily watching TV as if nothing's wrong. There's absolutely no one standing in the doorway watching them from behind the kids' gate, satisfied that everyone is safe. The father returns to the other room and checks the baby monitor again. Sure enough, the figure is standing in the exact same spot as if it never left, and this time you can clearly see one of the children looking straight at it. Apparently, this house was built in the 1940s, and the family sees this kind of thing quite often, which would explain why the father remains relatively calm instead of running out of the door. Number 14. A YouTuber named Jay Breezy works as a security guard at a nursing home in Chicago. No one seemed to believe him when he said that his job was haunted. Then one day, another security officer found out for themselves. His co-worker starts to feel a very cold presence in the room, but doesn't think much of it at first. He is busy smoothing over his hair when he appears to see something off camera and stops moving. Pay attention to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen or you might miss it. There you go. See it? And watch him. He got cold. It got cold. He was like... I was about to write this off as CGI until I saw the security guard's stunned reaction. He like, what the f He stopped. <laughs> he looked like, what the f <laughs> <laughs> It really does appear as though he sees something first in the doorway and then walking down the hall. Let me know if you agree that this is a paranormal experience or if this was somehow faked. This huge wall of security monitors shows that everything in this building is silent and still except for a single sign going haywire. I've seen signs twisting around from the air conditioning before, but this looks a little different. The back and forth swaying seems very deliberate, almost as if an invisible force is hanging off of it. I don't have much more information about this video, aside from it taking place somewhere in Singapore. Let me know what you think of it. What's this strange light doing here? That's what Michael Oishi wants to know, and so far no one has been able to help him. I personally think this looks like a high-powered spotlight, because I see a smaller light artifact that seems to generally correspond with its movements, indicating that this is actually part of a beam coming from the bottom of the screen. With that said, I wonder what's off-camera casting this long, creepy shadow. Number 13. A YouTuber named RJFD gets a phone call from a friend telling him to look at the sky. He goes outside and doesn't really see anything at first. It sounds like thousands of fireworks going off at once, but this is late at night in the middle of winter in small town Michigan, so that doesn't make sense. There were no fireworks planned at all. Then the entire sky changes color. Is that? If fireworks is truly not the answer, then the only other explanation I have is some sort of strange weather phenomenon. Let me know if you think you have a logical reason for what's going on here, because I'm really not sure and neither is anyone in the comments section of this video. This 7.4 magnitude earthquake struck Japan years ago. Earthquakes are common in this part of the world, but what happens next is not. In the distance among the swaying buildings, a bright glow in the night sky, possibly what scientists call an earthquake light. A bright light burns intensely over the city for nearly 10 full seconds before extinguishing as suddenly as it came. The light appears to have caused no damage and was accompanied by no sound. It does not look like it was caused by a blown out transformer or any other kind of equipment. Scientists have documented this type of phenomenon before, known only as earthquake lights, but they don't know what causes them. 
They occur on less than 1% of earthquakes and have been reported for hundreds of years. A handful of theories exist, but a real explanation has never been proven. All we know for sure is that it creates an eerie light show that witnesses will never forget. Number 12. Passengers are boarding this airplane in Thailand. But how is this possible when the entrance is disconnected from the airport? Are these people or spirits? You decide. As a counterpoint, someone pointed out that there could have been a second entrance here, on the other side. The people could be traveling in an L-shaped tunnel, but since we can't confirm it from this angle, both explanations are plausible. One Christmas morning, construction workers in Augsburg, Germany were stunned to unearth a giant device dating all the way back to World War II. The live charge weighed 1.8 tons and could have easily gone off just from making contact with their heavy digging equipment. Police immediately evacuated over 54,000 people from the city, while a squad transported the war artifact far away and detonated it. If it had gone off, experts predicted the blast radius would have covered nearly one full mile in all directions. Number 11. It's 5.36 in the morning. Hours before anyone should be inside of the Safety Harbor Public Library in Florida. Everything looks to be in order until this book goes flying off the shelf for absolutely no reason. The opening librarian was surprised to find a book lying perfectly balanced on the floor the next day. So they checked the security camera only to find this strange occurrence. Even if this was set up and someone was standing on the other side of the shelf to push a book to the ground, there's no way they could have made the book balance perfectly on its side like that. It really is as if a poltergeist purposefully made the book land in that position so as to attract as much fearful suspicion as possible. And apparently it worked. Number 10. A YouTuber named Jonathan senses something outside of his home and begins recording. He doesn't make it very far before he finds the source of his unease staring directly back at him. Okay, guys. A small set of beady eyes in the darkness sends Jonathan running back into his home. I was positive it was just a cat until I noticed there are other eyes in the video too, like when he turns around here. Maybe Jonathan does have an overactive imagination and was frightened by a neighborhood cat. Or maybe he really is being watched in his own yard by an unseen network of nightmarish creatures. The Hernandez family is sitting down for a meal in Clovis, New Mexico when something way out of place starts across their CCTV system. They walk over to the television for a closer look, still unable to believe what they are seeing. An all-white entity literally fades into view and seemingly jogs a short distance across their driveway before disappearing again. Although it's a little blurry, you can clearly make out the movements of what seems to be a body in motion. Some people are saying that this is a camera glitch that occurs when a jogger is wearing bright reflective clothing, but I'm not so sure if that's the case here. The Hernandez family did some research of their own and eventually came into contact with someone who knew about the history of their neighborhood. I believe it was his uncle had a house on this corner lot and his uncle passed away. With this in mind, I think both explanations are equally reasonable. But I'd like to know which one you think is the truth based on what you've seen. Number 9. This homeowner in Montgomery, Texas catches a stranger in distress on their doorbell cam. It's about 3 in the morning when a woman frantically rings the bell at the Sunrise Ranch subdivision. Look again and you'll notice what could be shackles dangling from both of her arms, suggesting this person could have been taken captive and recently freed themselves. The sheriff's department is worried that this woman may have been running for her life and trying to get help from the nearest home. Police released this video in August of 2018 hoping for anonymous tips, but so far no one has come forward with any explanation as for who this woman is or what happened to her on that fateful night. No one can say for sure. Number 8. A ghost hunting channel called Holy Walkers is exploring an abandoned building at 3 a.m. to catch some spirits on video. The first thing they notice is a discarded bike and a pile of clothing in the front yard. So either people occupy this building or something extremely terrible happened here. 
They keep thinking they hear voices, but nothing is really getting picked up on video. One thing they do record, though, is a noise that sounds like a firework or a shot. Did you hear? What was that? I think this sound might be paranormal because it's hard to tell its exact location, which means it might be residual energy from a bad event. After a bit of searching, they find a discarded round on the floor. While they are pondering what could have happened here, they hear another phantom shot and all go running. Either someone was trying to scare them off, or something seriously paranormal is there. Two friends stand in a creepy gray shed in the middle of the night to see who's the bravest. At approximately 3 a.m., they hear a quick sawing motion on the other side of the wall they're standing by, followed by some white orbs. In the morning, and it's um, pretty what creepy. What? What? Was, that, what? was that you? No. Was that you? No. When they go outside to investigate, the door slams behind them. Except there's just one problem. There's no door and there never was. What the f man? But now they're freaking out, but neither wants to be the first to leave, so they go back inside. Then when they are standing in the center of the room, talking about a little girl who supposedly haunts this place, they hear the noise again, this time from the far corner. Girl, yeah, whatever. Um, oh, what the f man? Nah, what the f At this point, bravery is the last things on their minds as they both escape. Members of the YouTube channel TFIL is on a guided tour of some Egyptian ruins when they decide to sneak away and do some exploring of their own. They ditch the tour guide and split up into separate groups to cover more ground. At one point, TFIL makes a strange discovery in a random pile of nearby rubble, which he quickly shows the rest of his group as soon as they meet up again. They assume it's a piece of someone's backbone, but they can't tell if it belongs to a person or an animal. Anybody else want to hold a skull? Yeah, there's people who do like to see Seriously? It's not allowed. Whoa. It's not sent for internet, this one, please. Huh? You don't send this from internet. It's hard to tell if this is an original discovery made by TFIL, or if an archaeologist previously dug this item up, cleaned it, and left it in a pile for later, or because it wasn't an important discovery. Eventually, their tour group finds human remains, which the group silently observes and reluctantly passes around. Who knows what else they would have unearthed that day, just with a little more digging. Number 7. A YouTuber named Jason L is rock climbing with his friend Kevin when they come across a narrow and claustrophobic crevice. Not wanting to get left behind, Jason follows Kevin's lead, but his resolve weakens considerably about midway through. Kinda wishing we didn't come in here. Kevin. Why? I'm pretty terrified. Barely 10 seconds later, Jason takes the worst step of his life. Oh no. Here, give me the... My foot's stuck. My foot's stuck. <laughs> I'm so serious, I can't move. After some initial panic, he steps out of his shoe and manages to dislodge it. After some effort with both hands, look again and you can see what would have happened if Jason L had tripped and fallen forward. Instead of stepping out of his shoe, it's a sharp drop down a series of spiky rocks that could have easily resulted in shattered bones and an emergency airlift. Number 6. A YouTuber named Lawrence Ryan takes off his shirt and throws it over a shelf. A while later, he returns to the area and now finds the discarded piece of laundry has somehow shifted into a face. This shift continues before his very eyes until Lawrence grabs a camera to document the paranormal event. The shirt takes the appearance of a grinning demonic face who is looking down into the left if you don't see it yet, you soon will. The transformation is not yet fully complete. The camera goes out of focus very briefly as Lauren struggles to zoom in while walking closer. And when the camera corrects itself and comes back into play, the face is changed again. Pause at 1 minute and 47 seconds into the video, and you will see it now has a very deep, ceased brow, a sharp, angular nose, and a strange expression that looks like a cross between a frown and a smirk. I really don't see how any of this is possible, but then again, if it's fake, then I don't know how they did it either. 
The shirt is hanging from a shelf and should not hold any form at all. If they tried to somehow fold it into the shape of a face, I don't think it would stay like that for long. A YouTuber named The Legends TV is exploring a tunnel at 3 a.m. when he comes across a stenciled message on the wall. It's a rant about someone who doesn't want to take their medicine or live in a hospital anymore, perhaps made by someone who escaped an institution and now lives down here. To further support this theory, they find a lone baby doll laying in the dirty water, and tucked under the doll's arm is a steel blade. For all I know, this could be a trap set by someone who is not right in the head. They go only a little deeper and find this red clump of what appears to be matted hair stuck to the wall, almost like someone's scalp. Number 5. A YouTuber named Guyver Explorer is exploring an abandoned mine that looks like it's in very rough shape. As he walks further and further down the creepy tunnel, he finds that the further he goes, not only is it more flooded, but there's less and less oxygen. Luckily, Guyver has an oxygen meter which alerts him the oxygen is too low and he must turn around. If not for this device, he could have easily never gotten out of this forbidden mine. Number 4. A motorcyclist named Motor Two Wrist is biking through India when he misses his turn and gets lost. Now it's threatening to rain and his bike's narrow high beams are his only source of light. Motor to wrist is already close to losing his composure when he sees something that pushes him completely over the edge. Some stranger rushes at him from the side of the road. Keep in mind that it's 10 at night and there's apparently no villages around for miles. The pedestrian would have to be out of their mind to travel down a dark road in bad weather without so much as a flashlight to guide their way. Moto to wrist is positive that he's seen a ghost and quickly speeds off, though it might have been someone in distress. We'll never know what the situation was for sure, but I'd like to get your opinion nonetheless. Number 3. Take a look at this picture of Patty and Joe Martinez. Do you see anything wrong? Maybe if I circle it for you, it will help. This hideous creature over his shoulder looks like a dog at first, but its nose is too flat and pushed in, and a top row of human teeth form a snickering sneer. The yellow eyes are open as wide as possible, and there's a tiny pupil at the very bottom, meaning it is looking down at you. Photo experts have verified this picture is real, which is absolutely terrifying. After all, there's no reason for anything that scary to be anywhere near a wedding anniversary, especially behind you. Number 2. A YouTuber named Jack Wagon has many videos demonstrating his apparent ability to manipulate objects using nothing but his own energy force. Here, he circles his hands over a lock while concentrating deeply. It isn't long before he gets results. Not only is Jack able to push the lock over without touching, he is also somehow able to keep it balanced at a weird angle for almost 10 full seconds before falling. The only explanation I have for this is if there was some kind of magnet underneath the table, which I guess is possible. Next, Jack takes a steel fork in both hands and envisions the utensil becoming soft like butter. He ties the fork in a knot with his bare hands in a few simple twists. I'm honestly not sure how hard this really is to do, but it sure looks difficult to me. I'd really like for someone to tell me if this is a real display of energy manipulation or just some kind of trick. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because we upload a new scary video every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. These contractors find themselves stuck on a roof after their ladder collapses, leaving them stranded 14 feet in the air with no way down. Soon they improvise a safety harness that looks to be little more than some cords haphazardly knotted together. I really doubt this design would realistically hold his weight, but let me know what you think. They are trying to figure out what to do next when they see something in the distance. Watch his feet closely and tell me if he looks like he almost loses his balance at the end. There's a car! He carefully lowers himself to the bottom and manages not to break the harness. The harness appears to be very loose at the end and could have come undone at any second. 
They show the drop at the end and it definitely looks like they were high up enough to cause some serious damage. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!